In this problem, we've been asked to estimate f prime, or the derivative at 2, using the given information, and explain what we've estimated, what it means in the context of the problem, and that can be always tricky. So we look at the data, and we're told that f of x represents the velocity of a remote control car along a straight hallway in feet per second. So this is really feet per second, and this is then seconds. And so if we were looking at our graph again, at zero we are at one, at two we are two, and at four we are 3.5. We have no idea what this looks like, except that it's strictly increasing. And so we really want this instantaneous tangent slope there. But since we have no other way to find it, all we can do is think about what would be the average rate of change from our two endpoints. Hopefully you can see how close the black slope appears to match the red slope. If all we have is data from a table, all we can do is use the information f of 4 minus f of 0 all over 4 minus 0. This a rock is the best estimate we can do of the instantaneous rate of change that we're looking for. So we're looking at 3.5 minus 1, all over 4 minus 0. And most importantly, what were these units in the change in y? Well, these were feet per second, and 4 minus 0 were seconds, so our answer is going to be in feet per second per second, or feet per second squared. So we're looking at 0.625 feet per second per second. What does this mean? Well, just units alone should remind us that this is acceleration or the derivative of velocity. Should be another indication that this is the acceleration of the car at t equals two. Because it's an instantaneous rate, we should make sure to indicate when the acceleration is happening.